sorry, you. I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't rather be anywhere else at five in the morning. I don't know where I'm starting, but touch screen to start. Okay, shopping, cool, yeah. No, no, no I'm hungry. Let's see what we got. Um, <laughs> when I first saw this, I thought it said chicken gay, because like the font, but it is in fact not chicken gay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little panicked. I have not been this panicked, I don't think ever. I just missed my flight. Oh, this really sucks. But I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna think what is my best next move. I'm gonna just be stoic about this. Can't lie, it's a really horrible feeling. I've never been in this predicament, but I'm really putting myself to the test here to stay positive. But that is what I vouch, and I always will. So I will remain that way. Very stressed. I just gotta figure out what to do. So. I'm gonna try. Even times like this, when it really doesn't seem like it, I do believe everything happens for a reason. You know, it is definitely not looking like the most fortunate circumstance. This really sucks, but I promise you, I will find a positive out of this. No matter how bad things get, there will always be a positive, depending on your perspective. So I will alter my perspective to find all the positivity out of this change of plans. Okay, update, we are good now. I will tell you exactly what happened. Like I said, I stayed positive and just looked at the chessboard. I try to figure out what is my best move. What is the best thing I can do with the opportunities I have right now? So I waited for everyone customer service and just try to find the next flight and the next flight to go in where I wanted to go. My home was Friday and it is Monday, so I can't do that. But what I did find out is that there is another flight today going to Tulsa and Tulsa is three hours away. So I did have to pay a fee of 120 bucks for that, but that is just the cost of the mistake I made of being late. But now I'm, <laughs> I think it's funny because my mom or my grandma doesn't know they're gonna have to pick me up three hours away. But it's so awesome because I know, I guarantee you, they're going to. They're going to be there for me. They're going to make a way. So I'm just a lot less stressed now. And I could have let all that stress get to me, but I stay composed. So now I just have like five hours to kill time and might as well make experiences. Like I said, like everything happens for a reason. These next five hours, I'm stuck here for a reason. So let's go find out what that reason is. I am starving and there is a Starbucks in here. So such a W. <laughs> My mom is calling. It's showtime. Hello. Hi. Hi. Did you see well, my message? I know you get some things from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, kid. Good job. Thank you. So you just need your luggage picked up. Yeah, I'll tell you whatever t time it gets there. I just need you to pick it up from the airport. And one, one other thing. What? Are you busy tonight? I don't know yet why. <laughs> well, somebody, and this somebody, maybe you, might have to drive to Tulsa to pick me up. Cameron! <laughs> why? Because it was the only other flight today. I would have to wait to Friday if I didn't take the Tulsa You're flight. Why? <laughs> yeah, so I'm flying to Tulsa tonight. Why did you pick Tulsa? Like, where do you think you were going? Hey, it's only three hours away. And, um. Can you not switch it to Kansas City? No, it was the only other flight. Okay. So, when are you supposed to be doing that? <laughs> I think it lands at like 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> okay, let me have where are you at right now? I'm at Starbucks. I have to wait like four hours till my till I check in. So you're literally stuck in the airport. Yeah. Are you at LAX? Uh-huh. Uh, walk around, you'll see, you'll see people. <laughs> yeah. 
they want to they fly on days that aren't busy like mondays okay well let me have some coffee and figure out what the fuck i'm gonna do with you <laughs> okay happy birthday i might give you a ride <laughs> Hey, you get a road trip out of this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, I wanted a road trip. You're welcome. <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> what was your backup plan? Like, what was your thought process? Once I realized I missed the flight? Yeah. Um, freaking wait for customer service for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I was hoping there was another flight going to Springfield tonight, but there isn't. But luckily, it's only three hours. It could be so much worse. Oh my God. I was scared I was gonna miss Halloween. I wanted to be back for Halloween. Kid? And I miss my dog. I'm gonna choke the shit out of you. I'm just letting you know now. <laughs> okay. Luckily, the Starbucks is before TSA, so everything after that, because you can't leave, is so freaking expensive. And I was so hungry about got something, but now I get a regular price Starbucks. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a Espinoza, bacon, Ryan sausage, and egg wrap. And Ignis Bolivo. Please proceed to gate 22 for immediate boarding. Edward Cabrera. It's pretty good. Probably better with the sriracha. I'm telling you, I'm so freaking relieved that I got this figured out. Like, I was stressing about it, but I could have stressed so much harder if I gave if I gave into it. But I chose not to, just to try to keep my cool, stay stoic, not worry about things out of my control. I missed my flight. I can't change that. But what is in my control is I can find the next best move. So I did. Hmm. I admit things got pretty rough for a second, but no matter how rough things get, I am lucky because I did not put this in my suitcase. I had it in my backpack. If I had to go there, I would be able to pull out the bat mask. I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this time to edit. I'm gonna expose myself. I totally just stood in a line for 45 minutes that I didn't have to because I don't have a check bag and that's what the line was for. <laughs> I could have just went straight to my gate, but oh well. Now, like I said earlier, everything happens for a reason. And since I missed my flight and had to make the next best move, I'm just trying to gather what I can learn from this experience. And what I've learned so far is one, I'm not doing that again. I'm going to be more conscious and aware of my time and two it just it really made me grateful for a lot of things like things could have been so much worse i got off pretty easy so i'm just grateful for that and i think a lot of that is just staying calm and controlled now, here we go tsa round two got my video and even though i was stuck in a predicament i missed my flight i had a lot of spare time so i at least utilized it got a lot of editing done and um <laughs> reflected so about to take my flight. I'm excited to get home. that happened since I missed my flight. I somehow ended up at the casino, which is a cool experience. Didn't win, of course, but still cool. And then also, I got Jack in the Box one last time because I don't have it back home. All right, finally back home. And who I miss the absolute most is my dog. I hear him barking right now. So I'm excited to get this reaction. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? What is up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm home. 
I'm home. All right, I'm finally home and I'm just so exhausted, but so grateful to be home because it could have been so much worse. I could have been stuck in Cali, but I'm just so grateful that I'm home. I get to see my dog. I missed him so freaking much. And I'm going to end the vlog now. So hopefully this has showed you that you can just stay stoic and play the best card you're dealt. Even in the worst situation, there's always a best move. So I hope this has just shown you that you can stay calm, stay in control, and play the best card you're dealt. So without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Fuck waste of potential and stay sedulous.